Pisces. 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 Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you're all having a fabulous day today. So, Pisces, before we get into the reading today, I'm going to put down some holy water first. Hope you watched the last reading. If you're wanting to know what was in the Mediterranean bowls, I did a whole explanation of it after the last uh, video. Yes. Well, at the end of the video. <laughs> so, with that being said, you know what time it is, sweetheart. Mm. Tarot's now in session. Most Honorable Judge T. T. Nong presiding. You can all do whatever you want. <laughs> He's like, is that true? He's like, I want to go outside then. <laughs> so, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with. Or whatever energy could be approaching you. Like I always say, it could very well be your own energy. <clears throat> whatever the case is, we will get it. We will hit it. And we will quit it together like we always do. Baby. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Baby, I deserve to do all the things that I did to you. <laughs> Is that tank song? <laughs> Show me the energy of the person, my bee. I guess we're going to shuffle all the way through this deck today. Okay. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Decompress. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. <laughs> the energy. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Good Lord. Come on. Show me that energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Oh, my God. I'm going to get carpal tunnel back here today, guys. Oh, oh thank God. Whew. Okay. We've got the King of Swords down here on the table. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We've got the Six of Wands, we've got the Four of Pentacles, <clears throat> we have got the Knight of Wands, the overall energy for the reading here is Ten Wands, so somebody's been carrying a heavy load right now, okay, King of Swords, okay, looks like you might be getting a message of truth, you could be finding Purple Martin feathers, Purple Martin, why am I Purple Martin? Purple Martin, Purple Martin feathers, and we've got the Six of Wands. This is all about victory. What does the laurel wreath represent? Okay, I, I don't know if you guys are familiar uh, in the Army, the Navy, in the services of the United States. One of the most important symbols that we have, okay, is actually the laurel wreath. It's about honor. It's about victory. It's a very important symbol. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. I just felt like you guys really needed to know that for some odd reason. Four Pentacles. This thing won't hold still. Okay, your person here, um, they're holding tightly onto something. So they're not wanting to let something go. And you could be getting a message here. Or this person just makes some kind of impulsive action. So, we're going to talk to that King of Swords first. We're going to see why the King of Swords is here. I am using the Crow Tarot today, for those of you that would like to know. So, ooh, what fell out? What in the world fell out? The Three of Cups. I'm going to put it back in. So, what's going on with the King of Swords here? What's going on here with the King of Swords? And why is he here? King of Swords. Come on, baby. Why are you here, King of Swords? And I'm going to 
to play you guys a song on my new ukulele after the reading, by the way. So if you're around, if you want to stick around for a song. Why is the King of Swords here? Sure. Okay. Ooh. Well, whatever this is, something's really bothering them, okay? What's really bothering this King of Swords? King of Wands. Ooh. Let me get a little deeper on this. Sure. Yeah. This is about letting something go. Okay. It seems like this person has had some kind of shitty behavior in the past. And this shitty behavior is coming from the King of Wands. Okay? That's kind of what I'm getting here. Whatever it was, it was like... Mm, this person was a little bit reckless here. And so they feel like it's kind of time for them to, you know, necessarily like uh, let this go let this this energy that this person's been holding okay so maybe they have been a little bit grumpy a little bit fierce here maybe they've been in and out here as well all right um and maybe they've been very fickle with their time and with their energy here and that's it's like just an energy of yeah, this is my shitty behavior basically their behavior Poor behavior. So somebody here is wanting to be more analytical, thoughtful, and fair. That's what I'm getting. It's good energy, though. I like it. So what's this person um, not letting go of, though, right now? What are they currently not letting go of? What is this person currently not letting go of? Okay. Okay. They're waiting for something to happen. And they're holding on to this very tightly. So what are they waiting to happen here? They're waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm waiting for this to happen. And I'm not going to let this go. What is this that they're waiting to happen? What are they waiting for to happen, please? What's this person waiting to happen? What's this person waiting to happen? What are they waiting for here? What are they waiting for here? What are they waiting for, please? There's hope here as well in this waiting energy. What are they waiting to happen before I get carpal tunnel? Okay. Hmm. Okay. So they're waiting for like a positive upswing here to happen. Something to take flight here. So what is this positive upswing that they're waiting to take flight, please. What's this positive upswing they're waiting to take flight? What's this positive upswing about? Okay. Okay, this is about coming to some kind of decision here. Give me just a second. Okay. What's this decision about? What's this decision about? Something here to come up that they want to make a decision about. There's something they're waiting to come up. They're wanting this to come up. What are they wanting to come up and make a decision about? What are they wanting this to come up? Okay. Okay. They're waiting for a situation here where it's been like, Things were, they're waiting for a conversation here about this stuck energy to come up. Okay. So why are they waiting for this conversation to come up about this stuck energy? Why are they waiting for this, this conversation to come up about this stuck energy? 
Why are they waiting for this conversation to come up about this stuck energy? Whew. Why are they waiting for a conversation to come up about this stuck energy, please? Come on. My oh, goodness. Why are they waiting for this conversation to come up about this stuck energy? What's going on here? Come on. Come on. Come on. Boy, they're going to make me shuffle. Oh, my God. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm getting carpal, man, back here. Come on. This is uh, it's very stuck. Okay, thank you. Okay, the devil. Okay. So this has been, um, how do I want to say this here? The devil keeps things stuck. So, it might be this person literally waiting for you to say something about why things have been stuck. All right? Literally. My God. And they want to talk about this devil energy here that's been keeping things stuck. What's the devil been keeping stuck here? What's this devil energy been keeping stuck here? What's this devil energy been keeping stuck What's this devil energy you've been keeping stuck, please? Come on. <clears throat> Let's go. What's this devil energy been keeping stuck here? Okay. Oh, boy. Pisces. Okay. This is all about... This has been... This energy has been keeping this person uh, <clears throat> emotionally stuck. So somebody here is afraid to talk about this. And I'm strongly picking up that somebody wants you to bring this up about why this person's stuck. So you're basically, you're, this person's putting the ball in your court. Because somebody here is not wanting to be stuck anymore. And this person needs you to help them become unstuck. I feel like this person's a little bit afraid to bring this up. And if you brought it up, they're going to be more open to talk about this. Okay. So, and that I get it. I completely get it. Sometimes I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done exactly this. I've waited for somebody else to bring up the conversation first, you know, literally, because I'm like, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to bring this up. I don't know if this is going to scare somebody. And if they bring it up, then I'm willing to have the conversation. But if they don't bring it up, then maybe they're not even wanting to have the conversation. So I've done this myself. So I get it. Okay. Let's let's do, let's get into the uh, let's get into the six of wands here. What is this six of wands here on the table for? What's this six of wands here on the table for? What's the Six of Wands in here on the table for? Good Lord, what's the Six of Wands down here on my table for? Come on now, baby. What's the Six of Wands down here on my table for? Six of Wands. Six of Wands with the Justice, please, and then I'll open up my pie hole. Six of Wands with the Justice here. Okay. It looks like, yeah, there was, somebody wants to overcome, have this victorious conversation here, all right, get right down to the bottom of the truth with these two swords here. You see that? Here's the truth over here, the two swords over here, there's this two swords over here. So these two swords are pointed upright, these two swords are pointed down. So this was avoided before. This conversation. So somebody feels like once we get down to the truth, things are going to be okay. And that's just literally the scenario that I literally explain to you with my own individual um, life experience here. So there it is on the table. Upright. I like it. It's good energy. Okay. Nine of Wands. What's going on with the Nine of Wands here in this person's energy? Nine of Wands. So this is all about somebody here 
really been thinking about this. Somebody's really, really been thinking about this, and they're wanting to hammer this home, but it looks like you're going to have to bring this up. I mean, I'm sorry. You can do what you want. You don't have to. But if you're wanting something to lay to rest that's been bothering you, and you really need to have the conversation, then by all means do so. Knight of Wands, please. Good Lord. Knight of Wands. A lot of shuffling. Thank you. Knight of Wands. Two of Cups. Okay. So they're making a brave, impulsive action here to come towards you here with the Two of Cups. What's going on? Knight of Wands and Two of Cups. This could be just to bring things into balance, to heal things, and honestly, to get on the same level here for sure. What's going on with the Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups? Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups. Come on, before I get carpal tunnel, let's go. Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups. Good Lord. Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups. This is a real stuck energy. If I'm doing all this shuffling, my God. Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups here. Somebody's coming towards you here with a lot of lust and a lot of passion here. Definitely wanting to communicate to you. Definitely wanting to see you. I feel like this person's wanting to move forward here for sure. Okay? But this conversation is going to have to happen in order for that to take place. So, if this reading resonated, you can like, you can share, you can comment, you can subscribe. Appreciate all of you that do that. And I hope to see you later. Tarot's adjourned.